No, no, I can hear you fine. Guys, can we all hear Kiana? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, perfect. Wicked. Megan's on board. That's perfect. And we're cool with recording this, right, Kiana? We good with that? Oh, 100%. Yes. 100%. Yes. yes. Awesome. Cool. So we've just got to allow people to settle into our four o'clock session. It's normally 11, but we can't do 11 because Kiana is all the way from Wyoming, the state. How cool is that? So she's all the way in America, everybody. So for us to say, no, we want to do it at 11 o'clock is very mean because that would be something like two o'clock in the morning for Kiana. So, would be. Yeah. It would be. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure that everyone is muted. If you haven't muted yourselves already, you can't see me, but then guys, just mute yourselves. Hi, hi, hi get... Emily. Hannah. Yeah, feel free to say hello to people as well. Say hello to Kiana, everybody. Give her a wave or say hello. <laughs> we love getting, it. This is the best. <laughs> we should be getting a few more people on board as we go, but we, they tend, tend to drop in just after it all happened. What with you know technology and stuff like that. Uh, so I just want to let me get to speak with you. I just want to say, Kiana, oh my God, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. This is so. Good. I got to. I I told you already. I've had like my mom hat, like my mum hat. Excuse me. <laughs> previously, on board for about three weeks, trying to right. as the United States has been going through some craziness, and so it is so excited to take that hat off and talk to some kids that aren't my own. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess as well, I've been saying this to a lot of parents over here in the UK that they've got to wear so many different hats. They've got to be a mum hat, they've got to be a teacher hat, a head teacher hat, a best friend hat, a bully hat, well, hopefully not a bully hat, um, and a worst enemy hat, you know? So, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, thank you very much. My lovely girlfriend just made me a coffee. Thank you. Do you want to say hello? Laura for the win. Do you want to say hello? You don't have to. Uh, so this is the gang. So Laura, you already know Laura, everybody. That's Kiana just there. Hey. So they see, she can't hear because I've got these on the go. So yeah, but I'm sure she understands the high back. Uh, cool. Thanks for my coffee. That's Kieran. Now that. this is very cool. Wearing teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> go and get your teddy bear. <laughs> All right then, guys. Thank you very much for joining us at this later hour. Um, no, thank you. I am so appreciative that Kiana's on board. I know Kiana. The only first time I met Kiana was, was actually through this, through Zoom, through this platform. I had no idea she existed. It was really cool because I, I, I was just like, oh, who is, who is this, who is this Kiana person? Who is this, oh, I also got to say hello. Um, who, is this, who is this Kiana person? And since we got on the call, we were just like chatting. It was a group of us all together. Uh, two seconds. There we go. Um, instant control. Uh, speaking of self-control today as well. And it was really cool. And then we finally met in San Diego. And it was absolutely amazing through a really, really big event. And I'm so happy that she is in my life, even though I've only met her once. But I think, I think that, you know, when you connect with somebody, um, and it's not just, not just obviously Khan, but her husband as well. Um, and I've had the luxury of speaking to Peyton as well. And, and it's such a pleasure. Uh, so uh, I just really wanted to introduce Kian to you guys because she's just got such a big heart. She's a beautiful soul and she's doing so much amazing work with kids over in America. And I think it's really cool that we can first hear Kiana's story and then hear what's happening over there in the States because we're all nosy over here in England. Well, I am. Um, and see if it reflects and see if there's anything that we can do to kind of like keep our spirits up and, and keep things going and, and be flexible in our mindsets with obviously everything that's going on. So without further ado, uh, everybody, Kiana, Kiana, everybody. Hi, everybody. You guys are so technologically advanced. I don't think my kids could be, ha could, could be making this whole scene happen, what I'm seeing here. I'm so <laughs> impressed. So impressed. Um, yeah, I am... Cool. It's so cool. This is so awesome. I never get to talk to kids. It's usually just a bunch of parents and adults on the screen and they're not, no adults have like lightsabers going on in the background. Like adults are definitely not as cool. <laughs> Kieran does what he wants. It's great. Sorry. Yeah, Kieran does what he wants. It's awesome. Indeed. 
So I am so excited to wake up this morning and to see your, your beautiful, beautiful faces. Um, yeah, uh, it's weird. Dale and I have literally only met in person one time, but I feel like, I mean, he's like oh, he's my brother. I know so much about him. He's, we've kind of navigated this world together. He's crushing it in the UK with, I mean, look at you guys. And um, I'm kind of over here in the States. Um, I primarily speak to teen girls, so about 10 to 18 is who my market is, but I've started to drop it a little bit lower. Honestly, the more I've done with Dale, um, and I have younger kids as well. And so um, as, as I've, I'm getting more kids in school, so I have four children. So I'm dropping kind of the age to talk to them. So I have a five, uh, she's six now, a six-year-old, an eight-year-old, a 10-year-old, she'll be 11 in a few weeks. And then I have a little boy who is three. So I've got, all kinds of things on the plate as far as um, you know, helping with confidence. You know, how many of you guys raise your hand? How many of you guys struggle with confidence in school sometimes? And it's kind of hard to be confident. Does anybody struggle with that? Yeah, yeah. It's so hard to stand strong and be confident when you have people that are around you that say things that are not very nice, right? It's so hard sometimes when when all you want to do is just have friends, right? Who just wants to like belong in school? Yeah, you just want to like find a crew of people that you can belong. With. Yeah, we just yeah. want to belong, right? And sometimes it's so hard to do that when, you know, people are around you because we can't control what people around us say, right? We can't control what they say about us, what they do to us. And sometimes that just really stinks. So a lot of what I do with my own kids, especially is helping them build that inner confidence, which I know Dale is key and a genius at, and, and helping them to know and to realize it doesn't matter what people say about me, what people think about me, what people even do. It all, only matters is what's, what's inside. So that's what I do over here. And it's kind of the best gig ever. It is, it is right, isn't it? How cool is it? I get, I'm pretty much doing what Keanu's doing over here in England. And... I, we've spoken a lot about passion and purpose, kind of, by the way, to, to these guys here. There's normally a lot more, but I think they've just finished school, so they're just chilling and doing what they want. It's okay, this is going to be recorded and sent off to people. Um, and it's so awesome because it's like, oh my gosh, I am so good at what I do. Kiana, you are so good at what you do. I love doing what I do. You love doing what you do. You, you get to impact people's lives. I get to do that as well. And um, I wish we didn't have to, but we need to pay the bills so we, we can get we get paid for what we do as well, which is which is brilliant. By the way, I'm not getting paid for doing this. I'm, I'm just doing it because I really want to have as many people out as I possibly can. Um, so, and I think it's great if when we when you find your passion, you've got to try everything out to try and get there to, to do whatever you want to do. Um, and great from Kiana's mouth just there. Live your own path. You don't have to be dictated about what other people say and do right this is this is your own this is your own path this is your own thing so yeah uh it's brilliant it's super cool thank you for that amazing introduction so you speak to you primarily teen girls right primarily teen girls yes i've started to do a lot of schools which is so good so there's boys and girls but for some reason girls girls relate to me a little bit better than boys i can't imagine why <laughs> <laughs> It's a smile. What can I say? It's the smile. Yeah. It's the smile. It's always the smile. Um, so yeah, brilliant. So this this is so good. Um, Kiana, so you're over there in the states, and you, we know what you do now, which is fantastic. Um, there's something going down in the world. Yeah. There's some big thing. Yeah. Yes. So and, and over, I don't know what it's like in America. Maybe you could, have, could see if it's the same. But over here in England, it's a little bit, some kids are, are, are terrified, and, that, and that's okay. And some kids are just like, no, nah, it's okay. And that's yeah. perfect as well. But it's, it's, it's like this. And sure. I, I think, like you said to me before, like, some kids just feel a bit lost. They feel a bit, well, I had this consistency of going to school, and it's just been taken away from me. And now I have to stay at home, and I have to learn from home. And I can imagine spending so much time with, with certain humans in your house, despite living them to, to pieces can be a bit stretching sometimes for our for our minds for our emotions if that makes sense so yeah um let me just mute a few people there we go there we are um so yeah 
Yes. Uh, let me just. Is that been okay? Yeah, we're all good. We're all muted. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Um, so you just want to know what's kind of what's going on here? What's the vibe here? How the kids are doing? Kind of a thing. Yeah, so that'd be cool. So uh, some of the kids over here, like I said, are, are going up and up and down. They're a bit confused. They can be. They might seem a bit lost. Um, their consistency has been taken away from them. Some feel really sad. Some get a bit angry, and some are scared. Um, we're not allowed. That, they're not allowed to go back to school until September. Um, they're missing their friends. Um, uh, they're missing going outside as often as they want. They're missing their freedom. Is that kind of the same vibe over there in in America? Yeah. So what? Um... What month to what month do you guys go to school over there? Like you go September, is that when you start school? Yeah, so September we start school in September. And then when do you end? Uh, we end in July, guys, right? We end in July. I haven't been to school for a very long time. It's just <laughs> <laughs> Mega size. Sure. Yes, Dale, come on. You've been okay. to school before. <laughs> okay, so the US is really similar. We go, Sierra is on it. She's like September to July. So we go from August to May. Okay. Some of the states start at the end of July and go to the end of May. So, so three weeks ago, our school was canceled. I think our school was canceled before yours was, if I just kind of, from what I've been looking, not necessarily, I shouldn't say canceled, but it was, they said, stay home, don't come to school three weeks ago. And then slowly, little by little, so if, any, if everybody knows, there's 50 states in the United States of America, and there's a bunch of territories. And I think 35 of the states, the last time I checked, have canceled school for the rest of the year, which is till the end of May or the beginning of June. So the state that I live in has not done that yet, but everybody is home. And so um, everybody's home. They're not able to see their friends, which super stinks. I've got a little one who's five who, I mean, the best part about having a birthday when you're during school is so that your friends can wish you a happy birthday, right? So you can just have cupcakes with your family and friends and, and wear a hat. And so she didn't get to do that. And so she was so sad. Um, they can't see their teachers. Everything is online. You know, they're picking up packets and taking them. So really, the, really everybody here is supposed to stay home. There's a stay at home order from most of the governors. The governors is kind of the person in charge of, of each state. I don't know what your equivalent is for that over there. Um, so it's to stay home, don't go out. So we just, that, sorry, meaning um, don't interact with people. We can still go outside and hike and do, and so, so do that. Except where I live, it is still so cold. I don't know what the equivalent is, but I still have so much snow outside. Really? So, oh my gosh, so uh, bad. So but we just go outside and freeze. So yeah, it's kind of putting kids a little crazy because now they can't yeah. go outside. So um, so we can mess it. Oh, that's so good that you have a class blog so that you can message each other. It's so important to stay connected right now, isn't it, Emily? Like so, so important to try to stay connected. So, but during all of this time of, you know, feeling, I mean, it's kind of like our foundations have been taken out from underneath us, right? School is such a foundational thing. It's where we are connect with one another. It's where we socialize. It's where we have our friends. It's where we, I mean, our teachers play such a key place in our lives. And that's all just been kind of, whoosh. and so we get to make a new foundation. And the really cool thing is, we do get to create a new foundation. We can go kind of back to the roots of, okay, I don't have to worry about people being mean to me. I don't have to worry about trying to get along with 30 other kids in my class. I don't have to worry about this right now. How beautiful is that? So now we can take some time and focus on you, right? And build you and build your confidence up and build your skills and do all the things that you've always wanted to do, but you can't because we spend so many hours in school. So that's what we are certainly doing in my home. That's what I've been trying to talk to a lot of people about is this is a wonderful, beautiful time of unease, but there's so many tender mercies of this is we're home. We can create a new foundation. We can create new um, routines and schedules. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. What a, what a good reframe, because sometimes, well, not sometimes, all the time, the only, the only thing that I am certain about in my entire life is, number one, I love Oswald, my dog, uh, and number two is that there's 
that nothing is in my control apart from my thoughts and feelings and emotions. Um, and everything that's happening in the world now is completely out of my control. So why do I need to be concerned with it? Um, just have it in the, in the back of my mind and think, okay, cool. Now, how can I use this as an opportunity? How can I use this? And I think you've hit the nail perfectly on the head there, Kiana. Work on yourselves. Um, there was, there was a, a phrase yesterday from somebody who said, how can I help people without being hurt or without being um, taken advantage of or something like that? Um, and that came from a girl. Come on, no, that's your bag. So um, I don't suppose, what would your... What, what would um, I know? I threw that question at you like a like a. Pew, um, what yeah. do you think? You're ready. You got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, so that's such a beautiful question. And you know what? It's not even kids that ask that question. I think it. It. I have asked that question to myself so many times. How can I help people without being hurt? And sometimes, you know what, guys? It's kind of a really hard thing, because you need to get to a place in your life and your confidence and your personality and your abilities to where you are so good with showing up authentically you. Do you know, do you guys know what it means to be authentically you? Go like this or like this. Do you know what it means to be authentically you? I got, oh, okay. It's okay to say no. Being authentically you is doing this. Being like, oh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> that was it. So authentically you is showing up. So some of us were a little, and I say nerdy, I have a computer science degree, okay? I'm a huge nerd and I love it. So some of us are a little nerdy, some of us are a little brainy, some of us are a little quirky, like some of us are a little bit awkward, some of us love Legos, some of us love Star Wars, some of us love ponies, right? There are so many, I just got goosebumps, there's so many beautiful parts of you. And sometimes we feel like we have to hide those parts because people might think unicorns are lame those people are wrong, right? Some people might think Star Wars is lame or computers are lame, or if you like anime, right? And so we hide those parts of ourselves, especially at school, because we don't want people to think that we're weird, right? That's a word that they say, we're outsiders. We want to appear cool and confident. So being authentically you is to get up to a place in your life where you show up as you. You show up with all the quirks, with all the crazy, with all the faults, with all the strengths and weaknesses. And you say, here I am. Like, this is me. That's a song from Spirit. My kids just watched it last night. So what I'm meaning by that is when you guys can get to that point. So it gets you to the ability to show up and serve. That's what I like to call. So an answer to the question, Dale, is you know, how do I give without being hurt? It's kind of a hard thing to get to the point, but when you can get to that point of being authentically you, you're showing up and giving yourself, and it doesn't matter how it's received. Can I tell you guys a story? Would that be okay? Please. To kind of explain all this? So one, like, I play card game. Good, Zach, you should ignore them because math is, amazing and math makes you so smart right and you know what zach i bet there are other people in your school or in your community who are too afraid to show up and play these kind of games that actually do care and so by you showing up and being brave it allows them to be brave so about a year ago like a year ago in five days honestly i moved to a new place okay so i used to live in the state of arizona which is a very big state there was 4 million people in my city. Actually, there's 5 million people in my city. It's very big. Now I live in a village of 500 people. Okay, so there's a, I'm missing a number of zeros at the end of my population. And I'm a very, if you can tell, I'm, I'm a pretty outgoing gal. I like people. I like interacting. Like, you kind of have to like interacting if you deal with kids, right? You guys wouldn't be listening to me if I was super boring and if Dale was really boring. You'd be like, no, thank you. So I love showing up to, to serve and I've always received it. So if, have you guys heard like you give kind of what you receive? So if you give a lot of energy, you can receive a lot of energy. Does that make sense? If you give a little energy, you usually receive a little energy. 
So when I came to this little small village, nobody, I, I want to use my words wisely. I was going to say nobody cared, but that's not the truth. That was my perception of it. But everybody was like, hey. So I would show up, I would come to the school, I would come to church gatherings, I would come to community gatherings, big and bold, like that's kind of my thing. And everyone was like, hmm. So I was giving and giving and giving and not receiving any energy back. And so do you know what I did? I shut off completely. I stopped being authentically me because I did not like the feeling that it made me feel to be like, boom, this is me. And people just be like, hmm. So it actually took me several months of working on myself, of work, and, and, I, and it was only myself, right? Dale said, you can control your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. I say, you can control your thoughts, words, and actions. Those are the three things that you can control. What you think, what you say, how you act. So I had to work on me for a long time. So my friends help me ignore it. Awesome. Awesome, Siren. So I decided I didn't care what people thought. I didn't care if they received it. I didn't care how, because there was somebody out there that needed me to show up, that just like they needed Zach to show up and play a game, just like they needed Siren to show up and play football, right? Just like they need you guys to show up and do your thing. They need you to be brave. So I came and showed up and I'm like, this is me. And I don't care what you think. That might be a bold thing to say, but because I was able to do that, you guys, I have so many friends. I've met so many cool kids. We do so many cool things together. I have a chat and last week we made breakfast together. We had a breakfast competition this week. We're having um, an art competition next week. We're making dessert. Like we're just doing all of these things together because I decided I could be, I was brave enough to be authentically me and to give of me, to give of my time, give of my talents. And it doesn't matter how it's received or what's received back to me because I'm doing this for me. So that was a really long answer to your question, Dale. Sorry it was so long. I love the long answers. It really made, they really made me think. And I think that's really cool because when we give from a really authentic place, I personally think that we're giving love, our own love. And it's taken yeah. me very long time to learn this. I'd probably say, ah, oh, 33 years or so to have learned this. But when I give love, I, I'm not giving love for the other person. I'm giving it for me. It's a reflection of me. It's a reflection of like, well, I, I'm going to give this bunch of flowers to you because um, you deserve them. I don't want, I, you can give me something back if you want to. I'm not expecting on that. I'm not attached to you Give me something back. I'm not going to love you for you to love me. I'm going to love you because I love me myself. Does that make yes. sense? So, so that's my little trick because sometimes I felt exhausted giving so much, doing this and doing this and doing this. And I, and I took it personally when I didn't receive anything back. Um, but I think that's false giving. I think that's false love. I, I am... The purest form of love is giving without an expectation of having any love in it brought back to you. Does that make sense? I feel like you, it's your accent. You, you eloquated that so much better than I could. And it's, you guys have such cool accents. America's so boring. I mean, come well, you, on now. You're going to hear these accents in a minute when they ask you some questions, guys. So make sure you've got your questions ready, okay? And let's see if we can put on the most eloquent oh of gosh. English accents. <laughs> If we can, um, wicked. That yeah, that was such a such a wonderful way of expressing that. That's so cool. Um, and there's a few things as well that obviously have been a little bit discombobulating over here. Um, that 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 uncertainty of, of not of not knowing. Um, how how do you as a mom? Because you're a mom of four. That's epic. Oh my gosh. I'm a I'm a mom of nobody. I'm a mom of one, and it's a dog. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh but so how how do you how do you because obviously it, it must be the girls um and the boys must be um must have kind of i don't know lost it because they're humans and must have done it before um how do you stay calm and how do you offer calmness 
in those type situations? Oh, okay. That's such a good question. So for we are the best, whoever Saren is, you are the best. I love this. Um, I think it's very important, my loves, to, and what I do as a mom, as a teacher, as a speaker, is it's so important to give you permission to feel, okay? A lot of times you'll see adults um, go crazy, right? Adults can be angry, they can be sad, they can be um, upset, they can be all kinds of things. But sometimes as parents, we want to control our kids and be like, no, you can't act out because kids act out in different ways than, than parents act out. So, so what I do is I, as I think it's so important for you guys to feel right now because you have a lot of feelings inside right now. But if we never release those feelings, you don't want to know what happens. If we don't just say, here it is, they stay, right? And then another feeling, and it kind of, imagine like it's your heart, and that feeling kind of holds over your, your heart of sadness. If we never release it, it grips your heart. And then maybe you have another feeling of anger, and you didn't release the sadness, but now the anger is covering the sadness. And then you have anxiety, and then you have stress. And does, does that make sense? They will all cover your, it's like an onion. Okay, so if we never release those feelings, they, the feelings kind of back up after, over time. And that's how you have adults who are, you know, a little bit unstable because they've never released those feelings. So what I do with my kids is, girl, my love, I almost said girls because I have girls, sorry. It's so <laughs> important that you release and find your way to release. If it's, I need a second to go in my room and scream, do it. If you need to write in a journal, um, that's how I release a lot of things, do it. If you're like, I just need a minute to be sad because I really miss my friend today. Do you know what? You have so much permission to miss your friend because what happens is when we feel those feelings and they're gripping our heart and we're just so caught up in sadness or anger and you feel that, guess what happens? It drops away. And so your heart is able to feel those things. Your heart and feelings are a gift. Did you know that? It's a gift to feel. That's what makes us human beings. That's what makes us grateful. That's what makes us love is feelings. But if we've wrapped our heart with so much um, scarcity and scaredness and emotion, then our heart is not able to feel. And I'm so sorry that you got bullied for having a diary. Do you want to know what? this might not make total sense, but all of the successful people in this world, do you want to know what they have? A diary and a journal because they know that feeling is so good. They know to get it out on paper because if I can get it out on paper, if I can get all of my ideas on paper, there's so much power in putting thought to paper. So dude, mine's right, mine's right here. <laughs> That's right, Kieran. Look at that. Yeah. So, unfortunately, there's a lot of people, in, there's a lot of kids in school that say a lot of things that they don't really know anything about. Maybe they don't even know what a journal is. Maybe it's really intimidating to them. Maybe their parents didn't allow them to have one. Maybe their parents don't allow them to feel. You know, that's kind of an, another thing that you deal with. Sometimes bullies seem to have it all together they seem to be so smart so strong so brave but really inside they're they're doing this that's exactly what they've done they've just layered that heart and so it's hard now and so they just kind of take it out so that's what i do to help myself be calm as well as help my kids is is take some time during the day to be like let's let's let out your feelings okay get them out because I promise you're going to feel so much better once you get them out. And you're going to be able to invite that love and to be able to give and show up authentically and serve. Because that's kind of what we need to do right now. That's amazing. You, you need, oh, as if, it's true though, isn't it? To give permit, you have full permission to miss your friend. You have full permission to let your feelings out. It's so important because if not, bump, 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 bump. And then you won't be able to feel anything. And it's so important yeah. to feel something, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, I think that, yeah, that's that's amazing, and to create that safe space as well, just to allow those feelings out too, 
Um, and also, just to add a little bit more, you've, you've really inspired me actually, Fiona. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to add more to this. Um, to, to recognize if you want to release those feelings in that particular way. Um, for example, if I, was, if I was angry, I'm allowed to express my anger. Um, but would I want to express my anger at the, at the physical harm of another or the emotional harm of another? I don't think I'd want to do that because that would make me even worse. So, and if I do that, okay, I messed up. I screwed up. What I'm going to do is when I'm, when I'm calm, I'm going to make up for what I've done and apologize or, or do whatever it needs to be done to do that. I, I'll tell you a, a tiny, tiny story about me and this me being very, very, very vulnerable with you guys. Um, I, I lied to my girlfriend i'll be honest with you and i and a slap wrist for me and i was caught up in it, all these i was caught up in doing work i didn't go to the gym i had to do lots of 101 things but there were excuses because she did not deserve to be lied to she did not um and i was still caught up in the zone and and i, and I, I said I'm so, I'm so sorry i'm really really sorry i'll well, hit some flowers i'm going to cook you a nice meal Here's a, some jewelry, you know. Da, 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 da. I know Karen's going to come after this. Um, and then the next day, she was still sad. I'm like, why are you still sad for? I've, I've apologised. It's, it's not with me anymore. I've, I've said I'm sorry. I'm guilt free. I've said I'm sorry. It's now down to you to accept the apology, or you can just hold on to it and just be all upset. And that's your fault. I've given the flowers and the jewelry and the meal. I'm sorry a thousand times. There you go. Okay, um, which didn't go down very well. No, 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 it didn't. Um, and I spoke to a very wise man called David Hancock, my dad. And um, he said, he, I told him what happened because I was confused. And he said, look, you are, you are, you've lied. You've breached your girlfriend's trust. It's not going to take a day for her to get over that. It's not going to take a week. It's not going to take a month. It's not going to take a year. You have to now, Dad, because you've messed up, you have to prove to her that you are trustworthy again. All because of the way that I chose to express that insecurity to her. So now, um, and the, the, the motivation for the lie was fear. I was scared. Be, I was scared of something, so I lied to get out of trouble. Big mistake, guys. Just own up to your mistakes. I... I was doing it when I was younger. I'm, I'm kind of still doing it now, and I'm forever learning. I don't think because I'm a man. I'm not sure. And I'm going to tarnish everyone with the same brush as me, man-wise. But it's it's now instead of expressing fear through lie, I want to express my fear in just sitting down and saying, you know what, I'm really scared about what you're seeing right now. But this happened, and I want to own up and I want to get it out of the way because last time I did this and it blew up in my face. Um, so yeah, that, yeah, they, they, I like that. That was good. It's a safe place to express your emotions, but kind of like a, a twist. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, we do that, right? Like, especially as kids, I mean, especially as adults, we do that. Sometimes we we act out an emotion. It's a human thing, mm -hmm. and it, it's a learned thing. To be honest, Dale and I are still doing it in different. You, you know what I mean? So it's giving yourself a little grace to be like well, I messed up and permission to be like, it's okay that I messed up and this is how I can make it, you know, this is how I can make it better. You know, it's okay that you yelled at your sister because, you know, I'm feeling angry inside because I can't see my friends. So I yelled at my sister. Okay. It's not okay to do it again. Right. But it's okay that you're feeling anger at this moment. And so it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's going to be okay. We're all doing the best that we can, especially right now. All we can do is to do better, right? That's all we can do, guys. You're going to make mistakes. Yeah. Um, okay. We've got about five minutes left. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to shut this down. And then we're, everyone's going to get a drink of water. And then we're going to go and, and ask some questions. Only about 10 minutes, if that's OK. Um, okay. But can I just can I draw attention to your T-shirt? You mean this this little thing right here? Yeah, that's really cool. Look at that. I am beautiful, strong, courageous, confident, authentic. Wow. Joyful, amazing. That's really cool. 
Where, what's, what's the premise behind that? I am. Oh my goodness. So this is from, I, I headlined a, uh, an event over here in the US um, and it's called I Am Beautiful. It's hashtag I Am Beautiful. And I was the, the keynote speaker for that. And it was amazing. Because do you know that there, you, did you guys know that you have like a superpower person inside of you? Did you know that? Yes. So we have our physical selves, which are the ones that are the ones that are making the mistakes every day. They're acting out. No, Zach, you didn't know this. Well, I'm about to blow your mind, Zach. And you <laughs> also have a, a spiritual self. Now, spiritual and religious are not the same thing, but you have this being inside that is amazing. That's what your I am is. Okay, is your mind blown? So your, your being that's inside, do you guys know when you're doing something and there's like a voice in the back of your head that's like, maybe you shouldn't do that or don't go that way. There's, there's danger over there. Have you guys ever had, had a voice in the back of your head be like, stop? Have you guys had that? Yeah. 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 That's that spiritual I am person inside of you that's trying to protect you and keep you safe. But we all have this being inside of us, but sometimes we've, we've done this so much with our heart. We're so busy. It's kind of like that hamster in the wheel that's always going where we're like pinging off the wall because our physical selves have a really small attention span. So ping over here, ping over here, ping over here. And your I am is your foundation. And so have you guys ever heard um, things called I ams? Like I am amazing. I am smart. Have you guys heard people do affirmations like that before? Yes or no? Okay. Yes, this is so, you're like, I don't know. How many times a day do you think we say the phrase I am? Would you say? Maybe like a dozen or more? Like, man, I'm tired. I'm so hungry. I'm so stressed out. I'm so over this. I'm so sad. I'm so lonely. Do you guys say some of those things? It's a 50. Yeah. Do you guys say some of those things? So every time that you say the phrase, I'm so sad, you are building your world as a sad world because you're saying and affirming, I'm so sad. So what this shirt is all about is switching your language instead of saying, maybe you are sad, but instead of saying sad, you're saying, I am powerful. I am strong. I can just go like this. I am strong. I am amazing. I am talented. I am smart. I am brave. Just simply changing that I am to I am. I have my little five-year-old's I am over here on the door and she reads it every time she walks out the door. It says, I'm smart. I am kind. I am brave. Um, I am helpful and I am playful. That's what she reads every day before she walks out the door. And she's, she's not naturally those things, I'll tell you that. But she is now those things because she has affirmed herself that way. Does that make sense? That's epic. Yeah, so we're changing our language to being, no, I am not tired and sad and lonely. I am so cool. And you wanna know what? you're gonna be so stinking cool on the outward and attract all these stinking cool people. It's like a magic word. I love it. Absolutely love it. Guys, that was what an awesome way to move on to our next chapter. So whilst we do, whilst it shuts down, it might come up right now, think of your I am. Think of your I am, okay? Yes, think about it. And in the meantime, let's have a little wave. Let's have a little wave. So, guys, I'm going to catch you in a bit, okay? We're going to close this link down, click the link again, we'll go back on it, we'll ask some questions, okay? Think of you where I am and get some water, okay? Peace. <laughs>